We see it as our duty and as an honor to restitute this Iwi Kapuna and to hopefully support the healing process in your communities. The Republic of Austria, which is represented by the government, is the owner of all the collections in the museum and allowed us to hand out the Iwi Kapuna to you. In addition, the government funds a project where our museum, as well as other museums in Vienna, researches and reflects interdisciplinarily the colonial context for Austria. Austria had not large colonies like France or Germany, but profited very much from the unequal relationships. As Vice Chancellor of the Republic of Austria, I should like to express my deep regret to you, distinguished guests from Hawaii. My regret that a wrong was committed against your ancestors. My regret that the graves of your ancestors were desecrated. My regret that the rest was disturbed. I apologize that the disturbance of the rest has remained until this day. The United States government strongly supports the efforts of Native Hawaiians to repatriate their ancestors. And we are deeply appreciative that the Republic of Austria recognizes the importance of these issues as well. We thank Austria for approving the deaccession request that led to today's ceremony, and we look forward to our continued collaboration on international repatriation efforts being made by indigenous peoples. As successors to those anthropologists, and in the name of the whole Department of Anthropology, we wish to express our deepest apologies that these Ivikopuna have been disturbed in their rest for the last 150 years. This happened because of destructive colonial and racial mindsets that today we as scientists condemn and reject. The Ivikopuna are your ancestors, people who lived, felt, founded families, and who, even if deceased, guide their descendants, as I learned from Mr. Ayao. When they finally return to their homelands, we truly hope that this can begin heal historic and collective traumata experienced by the Hawaiian peoples. Our kupuna here today have helped to facilitate their return home. They have empowered our steps here and guided our steps back. The Republic of Austria, the city of Vienna, the American consulate, and especially the staff of the Museum of Natural History have been instrumental in supporting our kupuna's return to Hawaii. Mahalo palena ole. Thank you for recognizing and honoring Aloha Ohana. Pela ihola kanohona ohana. This is the life of family. Today signifies a remarkable event in the history of the people of Hawaii and the people of the Republic of Austria. We have established a connection to one another through today's inaugural repatriation. We have forged a relationship that now requires a reciprocal commitment and accountability. I ask that we honor this relationship through our joint advocacy to repatriate not only Hawaii's Ibi Kupuna, Moipu, and Mea Kapu, held in public and private collections, but that of all of the world's nations and peoples, 
so that as a human race, we can all heal from this selfless act of aloha. One day, you and I both will be kupuna. We will be the ancestors. We have a koleana, a responsibility to leave a lasting impact on the next generations of our families. They will inherit our legacy. Let our legacy be one of aloha ohana, a love of family. And let us leave a lasting example for them to follow because one day, they too will be the ancestors. Mahalo nui i keihui ana o kako. Thank you for sharing this space with us in honor of our kupuna. Ke aloha no. Believe me when I tell you that ohana is everything. Ohana is the only thing. In 1875, His Majesty the Emperor of Austria entered into a treaty with His Majesty King Kala Kawa Okaheke Onaapua. Article 1 of this treaty reads as such, quote, There shall be a perpetual peace and friendship between the Austro-Hungarian Empire and the Kingdom of the Hawaiian Islands and between the citizens of the two countries without exception of person and place, end quote. I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like commitment. That sounds like ohana to me. When you realize that you were in possessions of the remains of our ancestors, you found yourself at a crossroads. You could continue to see our Ivi Kupuna as your property, unwilling to let them go, like Golem and his precious. We want it, we need it. Many other institutions around the world follow and still follow that road. I call it the Smeagol Road. But not you, not the Museum of Natural History, Vienna. You chose the road of humanity. You chose accountability, and that sounds like ohana to me. 147 years ago, the Austro-Hungarian Treaty once made us ohana. I would like for us to continue to honor and uphold the commitment and accountability that was forged in 1875 between the peoples of Austria and the peoples of Hawaii. We came here as strangers, but today we leave Vienna as Ohana, and for this I thank you. One's role in the family does not end with death. It elevates to that of ancestral guardian. And it is the role of the living to protect the dead, to protect their places of interment, to protect the dignity of the afterlife. In turn, it is the role of the deceased, when called upon, to provide living descendants with the necessary tools, including courage, strength, intelligence, righteous understanding, and avenues of communication. Our ancestors yearn for continued function within our families. And when we call upon them for guidance and help, they will come. But we gotta call them by name. And by doing so, by engaging and re-engaging the ancestors on a daily basis to help us navigate the challenges of being Hawaiian in this modern era, they live on. <laughs> Eho mai kahi kaita, 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 eho mai kahi kaita,